Recently, I was in Israel, and they, I got a call that there was a riot outside of the hotel where a lot of the women from the JWRP were staying. And there was horses and tear gas, and I was freaking out, <laughs> thinking, what's going on? And then they told me it was the Ethiopians who were rioting. So because I was concerned that maybe it was enemies of the Jewish people, I didn't know that these were Jewish people. So the fact that it was Jewish people and they were protesting and they felt there was racism in Israel, and I was like, okay, we're in a democracy, you can protest. So it got a little bit out of control, but they got it back in control. Our women could go in, our women could go out. So the next day I was talking to someone and he was saying, I was asking him, he's an Israeli, like, what do you think about what happened with the Ethiopians? And he was like, well, you know, the, as a group, they, they're just takers and, and they're causing problems and they're, they're crying racism, but they're, you know, it's because of the way they are. And I was like, so the conversation goes on and we started talking about the fact that there is also a divide in Israel between the Ashkenazi Jews and the Sephardi Jews. The Ashkenazi Jews who are coming from Europe, from Eastern Europe, and the Sephardi Jews who primarily came from Northern Africa and Muslim countries. And he said, historically, the Ashkenazi Jews always looked down upon the Sephardi Jews. And the Ashkenazi Jews, they're, they're the elitists, and they feel they're smarter than everyone else. And even to this day, he says it's gotten better, uh, but to this day, he still feels they look down upon him. And he was upset about it. It reminded me, the story my husband told, of somebody he knew who was in India, and he witnessed the following. There was a, he was in a city where there was a lot of people, sort of poor city, and he saw people pushing onto the public transit. And there was this guy, he was actually a soldier, an Indian soldier, trying to get on a bus, and there was an older woman ahead of him with an umbrella, whacking and beating him to get him off the bus. They were trying to, so he crowded on the bus, fine. The next stop, the doors open, and somebody else is trying to get on the bus behind this soldier. The soldier grabs the, the umbrella from the woman in front of him and starts beating the guy behind him. That's us. There is a mitzvah in the Torah to love a convert because you were once strangers in the land of Egypt. You would think, well, we were once strangers in the land of Egypt. We would have more sympathy towards those who are coming in from the outside, because we were once on the outside. But no, it's human nature. I made it, you can make it. I toughed it out, you can tough it out. So the Israeli is telling me, oh, those Ethiopians, he's looking down upon them. But then he's upset because the Ashkenazi society is looking down upon him. You would think he would have more sympathy towards the Ethiopians. So that's why God says, I know how you are. Your chances are you have less sympathy. So I'm going to command you to be sensitive, to think of others. You went through it. Don't forget. Help the next person coming up. Don't whack them with an umbrella. I'm Lori, almost live.